Hello YouTube, this is my Black & Decker battery powered lawnmower which I uh, keep powered through solar power. It's a very easy lawnmower to use. No pull cord on it. It is push button start. It charges using my solar power through a battery. So let's review how I'm doing this. You can see on the roof I've installed a single solar panel and wired it to go into the shed. Once the wires come into the shed, they connect to a charge controller. Charge controllers prevent batteries from being overcharged. Then we go down to the two EverStart batteries that I've been using to store the power collected from that uh, solar panel upstairs. The charge controller, when it is green, says that the batteries are fully charged. When it's yellow, that it could be charging or energy is being used. And when it's blinking red, it says the batteries are dead. As you can see, I'm green. My uh, batteries are fully charged. And from those batteries, we go to a power inverter, standard uh, audio, uh, automotive power inverter you can get at Walmart. You can see the black cord there, connects to the back of the power inverter. And then to the power inverter, I connect my Black & Decker batteries for my trimmer. And I connect my lawnmower. Now the lawnmower battery can be charged in two different ways. The battery itself can be pulled out and charged with this charger into those charge slots. Or I can continue to charge the battery by connecting it to the lawnmower directly without having to remove the battery at all. And this battery is not hard to remove. You lift up the block or, or the lock. <clears throat> and that battery comes right out. So for all intents and purposes this is a solar powered lawnmower. Now I know some of you are asking what are the benefits of having a solar powered lawnmower? Well for one I haven't had to pay $3.50 $3 for a gallon of gas to fill up my lawnmower. Um, I don't have to replace the oil. There is no oil on this. There's no spark plug. There's just a battery and a motor and a really great blade underneath that you can replace the blade when you feel that you need to. After all, we, oops, I dropped the battery. <laughs> See that? My block conductor battery fell off. Oh well. So let's look underneath. It's your standard lawnmower. You got a blade under there. You can replace that blade anytime you want. You can put a bag on this lawnmower if you want. It comes with a bag. It also comes with a mulching trap, which you should empty once in a while. So let's go ahead and get this uh, lawnmower started, and we'll have a we'll have some fun showing you how it mows. By the way, this battery itself will cover about a third of an acre before it goes dead. If you have more than a third of an acre, get a second battery. I have a second battery because I have elderly neighbors who need their yards mowed. So after, after I finish mowing my yard, I switch batteries and I pop in a new battery and I go mow their lawn. But you know what? If I were to plug this mower into a wall socket without that solar panel, it would still cost only about 90 cents to charge it versus $3.50 for a gallon of gas. But I'm not even paying that 90 cents. That solar panel on the roof cost about a hundred bucks. Uh, these batteries are batteries that people were throwing away that they were still good, so I got those for free. That charge controller was about twenty-five bucks on eBay, and that inverter was uh, about fifty bucks at Walmart. So, go ahead and do the math. I think I'm saving money here. You might think this costs more money. I don't know. Lots of people, for some reason, do not like green energy. They don't want going green. They think we should just keep burning oil. Um, 
I don't understand the ration behind that because when we go green, when we put solar panels on our roofs, we can go independent. We don't have to pay a utility company uh, for power. So it's an argument and a debate to have, but I think uh, wind and, and solar are going to win that debate. Okay, how to turn this on. First, we've got to put that safety key in. All lawnmowers or modern lawnmowers have them. Pops right on in. Let's pull this lawnmower out of my shed. So, now that the safety key's in, we're going to press the button and pull back on the safety latch, and this mower will start up. Had this mower for three years now. It's still going strong. It's still mowing that lawn very well. Mode versus non-mode. You guys see it on camera? It is a mulching mower, but that doesn't mean there won't be some clippings behind. Because that's what mulching mowers do. They drop these clippings into the grass and it's used as fertilizer. I know I was mowing there kind of erratically. I was trying to stay within the camera shot so you guys could see how well it mowed. Um, I like it. This mower cost me about 400 bucks, and uh, I haven't had to pay for any gas. Thanks, YouTube. That is a review of my solar-powered lawnmower.